Good morning, everybody. Do you guys want to take your seats? Find a seat. That'd be lovely. Morning. <laughs> well, it is great to be together this morning, isn't it? It's great to hear the chatter. Uh, it's great to see so many people here this morning because this is a special, special morning. Uh, and we're going to celebrate uh, all that Simon and Rachel have done, who they are, thank the Billington family for all they've done over the last nine years and for who they are because we love them as a church, don't we? Um, so that's why we're here. <laughs> And uh, for some of you, I know, who've been here the last few weeks, you might be looking around thinking, gosh, it's a bit harder to find a chair this morning. Uh, for others, this is your first time back, you're all welcome. Also, if you're watching online, super welcome. I'm sorry, I'm not very good at looking in this direction. Uh, but I just want to say as well that for those of you, maybe if it is your first time back, um, we know that the restrictions have eased, uh, COVID restrictions, but really it's whatever people feel comfortable doing. So if you want to wear masks, wear masks. If you don't, don't. Uh, just respect each other and where each other are at with it. And uh, with hugs and things, it's just really good to ask people if they're happy. So that was what I would uh, recommend this morning. Uh, so just be mindful of each other. So uh, this morning, as I've said, it's our chance to more formally thank the Billington family for all they've done. Uh, but first, we're going to spend some time in worship. Um, I'm just going to give a little bit of announcements as well. Uh, you may have seen, uh, if you've been involved in kids' work before, you may have seen an email come out yesterday about whether you still want to be involved. As Simon said last week, we need each other. We need to be community in this time, and we need each other going forward. And so if you may have heard last week, uh, those of us who've been involved now helping kind of leading in this interim time, we're going to be talking to each other and seeing, you know, if we want to do things with children and youth or with uh, other people, but we're going to need each other to do it. All right? So just be praying and thinking about how you might be able to support over the kind of next few months, because we're not going to be able to do everything, but what we're able to do depends on each other, really. So um, coming this morning to worship, we I'm just really aware that it has been a heavy week globally. There's been a lot going on, and for me, I have found myself in Psalm 37 quite a lot this week. So I'm just going to read some of the Psalm 37. Fret not yourself because of evildoers. Be not envious of wrongdoers. For they will soon fade like the grass and wither like the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and befriend faithfulness. Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him, and he will act. He will bring forth your righteousness to the light and your justice as the noonday. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. And I really feel that is our call as we go into worship this morning, that whatever we've come with, all the different feelings that we may have brought this morning, that we can come in this morning and wait before the Lord and just seek him. So with that, I'm going to pass on to these guys. Morning, everyone. You feel free to stand or sit, however you feel comfortable to worship. Um, we're reliably informed that Simon and Rachel like the 90s classic vineyard songs, so we're uh, rocking the air. No, there's some awesome tunes. So. But yeah, we just want to worship this morning. So yeah, let's just fix our eyes on Jesus. Thank you. 
God, we thank you. We thank you that your love is the anchor. That our hope is in you alone. That whatever uh, happens in our lives, whatever happens in the world, that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Okay, so we're going to spend this time a little bit more differently this morning. Uh, as you can now see, here's one I made earlier. Uh, it's celebrating uh, and thanking Simon and Rachel and the Billingtons and for all that they've done. And they haven't had an easy ride. I think we can all agree leadership is never an easy ride, but there has been so much that has been done in and through them in this time, and we just want to... Well, I don't know how you describe this, but I don't even know. I'm going to pass on to Simon. Thank you. Just bear with us a moment while we set this up. I think we might call this bit revenge. No, not really. Not really. <laughs> oh, good morning, everyone. On what could be or likely to be an emotional uh, morning. We thought we'd um, should be a little bit of light entertainment this morning just to lighten the mood. Um, now, in the time that Andrew and I have known uh, Simon and Rachel, um, one of the things that we've observed about them is about their love for games, yes? Uh, whether it be uh, after-dinner games, quizzes, you name it, they love competitions. Agreed? Yes? And we also know that they can be com incredibly competitive. And they don't Spoons. like losing. Spoons, yes. Yeah, you don't like losing, do you? But what we also notice is that when they are pitted against each other, they're even more <laughs> competitive. And that's what we're going to play on this morning, okay? In our special feature, where we will pit one senior pastor against the other. <laughs> Spouse versus spouse. Billington versus Billington. It's the big fat quiz of the senior pastors. Would you like to come up, please? <laughs> Give them a round of applause. Pink. <laughs> you are going to have your backs to each other just for perhaps the first round, or probably for the remainder of it. So we have got... Um, a quiz for you. It's four rounds, and if needed, and I hope we don't get this far, there is a tiebreaker. And I really don't hope we don't need that. Now there are no prizes. Okay, you're simply uh, playing for the satisfaction of winning. Okay, and the ability to spend the next few months boasting about it and <laughs> gloating. Okay, so round one, Mr. and Mrs. Yeah. Now, I don't know about you, but when Andrew and I play this, we are forever Awful. arguing about some Awful. of the answers. Um, so uh, who knows how this is going to go. So We need prayer after praying Mr. and Mrs. Definitely, definitely. Um, so we're going to ask you three questions, and we want you to write down the answer on a sheet of paper, okay, in front of you. Um, I'll, I will ask you to answer the question... And if your spouse has correctly guessed your answer, they will win the point, okay? So remember, don't shout anything out. Write down the answer you think your spouse will give. And I remember, <laughs> the way to win this is not necessarily write down what you think is correct. It's, more, it's about thinking what you think your spouse is more likely to say. That's the way to win this game, okay? <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. So, Andrew's going to ask the first question. All right, are we ready? Okay, question one. What is your spouse's favourite worship song? <laughs> What's your favourite worship song, Andrew? Just so I know it for future quizzes. <laughs> Quite one of the ones we've done this morning, actually, faithful one. That's always a good faithful one, isn't it? <laughs> Take time, Simon. Yeah. 
We've got to, we've got to be out of here by half one, all right? <laughs> Stand between you, they're so competitive, it's unbelievable. <laughs> I have to stand between the two of you. Have you got one yet? How long are we giving? I think uh, the countdown uh, needs to come down. Here, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or sing it. Uh, I don't sing it, you have to write it down. Right, have you got one? No. Okay, right. right so. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to come to you now. You've got an answer, haven't you? Yeah, of course you have. So... I don't think it's right, though, to be honest. No. <laughs> right, so, Rachel, what is your favourite hymn or worship song? My favourite is In Christ Alone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been it. my favourite for a very long time. <laughs> Let's hold your answer uh, up, Simon. Uh, no, what did he you hasn't, write? I wouldn't bother. He hasn't written <laughs> that one down. So, Simon, what is Rachel's favourite worship song? What's Rachel's? Sorry, what's yours? Oh, mine. Uh, mine, actually, we sang it this morning. Would you believe? Yeah. Holy Fire. And, well, that, that was a really successful... Uh, <laughs> First question in Mr. and Mrs. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll scrap that one. Let's, let's go on to something a little different now, okay? Um, so the second question we have for you is, when they get out of the shower or bath, which part of their body do they dry first? <laughs> Andrew and I nearly divorced over clean, this question. Keep it clean, people. Keep it clean. We got an answer there? <laughs> Okay, we've both got an answer. Right, I'm going to come to you first, Simon. What do you dry first? Um, <laughs> quite sure, hang on. Uh, chest. Uh, no, it's the... <laughs> <laughs> this you don't is what do happened. that. Yeah, yeah. So, obviously, you've written down back there. No, that's not right, okay. Now, uh, Rachel, what do you dry first? Back. So this is going, this is going really well. Okay, right. I would have thought it was pointed out to me that the first thing you dry is normally your eyes, so you can actually, yeah. you know, get the water out of your eyes, so you can actually see what you're doing. Anyway, <laughs> question three. This is Andrew's. Uh, Andrew's going to ask this question. You can sit there, John. Yeah, that's our space. Carry on. <laughs> um, okay, question three. If there was a fire. What object would your spouse save first from the house? Right. Okay, Rachel, what would you save first? Um, can you not say the boys? They're not objects. Can, oh, well, Caleb's the smallest, so I'd go Caleb. Sorry. We're gonna, we're gonna give you that one. We're gonna give you that one. So that's a point. Oh, sorry. That's a point to Simon. And uh, Simon, come to you now. Uh, what would you say first? I'd save the boys as well. No, you <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. That was a successful round. Um, we do offer marriage counselling after this service. So you'll, you'll be glad to know that round one is over, OK? Um, I'm not sure how successful that was, but we do have a leader at the moment. I'm afraid that is Simon, <laughs> uh, with one point. OK. So we're going to move on to the next round. And in round two, we're calling Legacy. So in this round, we're going to ask you some questions about activities and events that have happened in and around Taunton Vineyard. Uh, during your time as senior pastors. Now, some of them are multiple choice. Uh, you just have to write down what you think is the right answer. There are a couple of bonus questions as well, so there's plenty of opportunity to score some points here. So, here's the first question. Uh, be many baptisms during your time. Uh, a very special one, I think, was 
uh, in Sidmouth, uh, August 2016, the 28th of August. Uh, our two children were baptized. Two of your boys were baptized that day. So the question is, how many people were baptized that day on that very blustery day with the uh, RNLI uh, taking a, a keen interest <laughs> in what was happening? Oh, yeah, yeah, the multiple choice, sorry, yeah. There's either A, 8, B, 10, or C, 12. Okay, so what have we got here? You've both gone for 8. A, 8. Unfortunately, the right answer is B, 10. So there's no points there. 10 people were baptized that day. There's and there the they are. There's the proof. It. Apologies if you're at home watching this on YouTube and I'm just stood in the way of everything. So I do apologize for that. Next question. In the spring of 2015, we launched our CAP Debt Center. And since its launch, how many clients have been seen by either John or Nick? Is it A, 198, B, 217, or C, 235? I'm delighted to tell you, you've both got the right answer. So uh, it's C, 235. Andrew, do you want to do the next question? Oh, there's a bonus, bonus question, question, actually, yeah. Okay, bonus question. How many clients have become debt-free since the debt centre was launched in Taunton? And this is one to put your own figure in, no multiple choice on this one, so it's because it's a bonus question. And we're going to give a point to the person who's closest to it. We know who uh, we know who that likes cheating, don't we? <laughs> um, the correct teacher. answer is sixty-eight, <laughs> which means Rachel, <laughs> you are the closest. So that's a point to Rachel. Yeah, we're going to have words at the end of this. Question three. Okay, next question. Since the launch of Rock Community Mentors. How many families have been supported? We have got multiple choice on this one. <laughs> A, 20, B, 24, or C, 28? I'm going to stand in the middle of you so that you're not looking. Is that okay? okay, you've both put down B, 24. I'm very disappointed. <laughs> the answer is 28. So no points there, I'm afraid. Okay, um, question four. How many make lunch sessions have taken place since it started in 2017? Is it A, 30, B, 35, or C, 40? Both got an answer. Only one of you's got it right. It is C, 40. So that's a point to Rachel. Well done. Who has taken the lead. <laughs> eh? Okay. Um, now, for this question, you need to look at the screen. You have treated us over the last nine years to some fantastic sermon series. And we're going to show you the idents of, from three sermon series. Can you correctly guess the title of the sermon series? <laughs> Not difficult at all. So there you go. I wonder how many of us can remember these. Oh, I'm gonna... mm, write, it write it down, write it down, write it down. <laughs> write it down. There's three of them. Yeah, one, yeah. two, three, yeah. yeah. The, uh, the top left one, to give you a clue, 
uh, it was a sermon series, I think it was 2015, 2016, and anyone who was asked to talk on this were given um, the, the job of making sure that the, the title of their sermon was named after a movie or a song title, if that helps. particular favourite of mine in that uh, sermon series called Fool's Gold. Yeah. Right. I'm going to call it there and say, you've got it written down? Done appallingly there. Right, so the top left was called Extraordinary Wisdom for Everyday Living, a sermon series on Proverbs. Uh, the bottom one was Mission Possible. So that is a point to Rachel. And the one on the right is At Grace Value. Oh, not Face Value, Grace Value. So I think I'll give you one point there, Rachel. So, uh, and none... Yeah, they're appallingly there. <laughs> Absolutely appalling there. Right, so... After, after two rounds, there is a winner. Uh, sorry, not a winner. There is a leader at the moment. It's Rachel. So give her a round of applause. <laughs> so we'll do this one. Right, okay. We, we, wouldn't, we couldn't do a quiz without having a bit of activity. Okay, so Andrew's going to introduce this to you. You might want to stand behind yeah. your desk. so you'll desk. need to stand up for this one. Okay. It's going to be a bit messy. So the idea for this game is with what? What's how? What's your? Are you right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. So your right hand needs to go behind your back, right? And we want you within one minute to pull out all the tissues from the box using your left hand. And this will be a competition against one another to see who gets to the bottom of the box first. Okay? Right. Are you ready? Are you timing? Um, no, anyone got a timer? <laughs> Doesn't, I think we'll just go to whoever we'll gets go to the bottom first. We'll go to who first. wins then, right? Let's make sure, one at a time, just pull them out. Netball arms should win. <laughs> Are we ready? Steady, go. Go, 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 go. That's a hell of a technique, Rachel. <laughs> this is great stuff. Go, 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 Rachel. <laughs> oh. oh! Steady sometimes wins a race, Simon. <laughs> go, Rach! Go, Rach! Come on, Simon! Oh, close. Yay! Oh! <laughs> well done, Rach. A point to Rach. Very good. Well done, guys. Um, yeah, you might want to just... I don't know where you might need these tissues later on or not. I don't know. I probably will. <coughs> so let's, uh, let's move that away. Take, thank you very much for that. Take a seat again. That's the end of the activity another, round. Another round. We've got a, w one last round. Are we, I take it we're... You've lost your pen. Are you going to need that? <laughs> one thing um, we know and love about... Simon and Rachel, is their, uh, alongside of us, their love of the 1980s and the music, particularly, of the 1980s. So we couldn't finish today without doing a bit of a music round. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, and we've got them against each other for that. <laughs> um, you are uh, three points behind. Okay, we've got Rachel on five, Simon on two. We've got, hopefully lined up, we've got five tracks lined up. It's Spot the Intro from the 1980s. So, uh, first 10 seconds of each. Yeah, is that all right? Is it artist and song? Uh, artist and song. So there's potentially 10 points up for grabs here. And I'm going to be very strict on this. Um, and if you're, you know, I'll play along with this. Um, so just write down artist and title, and oh, yeah, 
when you're re ready, play the first one. We obviously have to take us back to the 1980s. <laughs> it's your theme tune, isn't it? <laughs> 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 okay, let's go with number two. I never thought it'd have to come to, not from you. I thought he'd be the cheat, but it was dreadful. <laughs> well, let's go for the third one. Yeah, you, you might be in trouble here. <laughs> you might be in trouble here. Um, let's go with number four. Oh dear, I think um, someone's doing very well here. <laughs> oh dear. That's what happens, Rachel, when you don't, you know, in the 80s. <laughs> what were you doing in the 80s? <laughs> <laughs> and he was listening to um, yeah. music in the 80s. Let's go with the last one. Let's go with the last one. Number five. Number one in May 1987. Right, okay, so we'll go through. Oh. We'll, we'll go through. Oh <laughs> so I can tell you, I can tell you um, that Rachel, you've got four points there. And Simon, you have got all ten points. So let's go, let's. Let's go through the answer sheet. We don't need a tiebreaker because unfortunately we do have a clear winner in our big fat quiz of the senior pastors. So congratulations, Simon. You clearly know, you clearly know your 80s music. And uh, yes, you are the winner here. So uh, let's give them a round of applause. Thank you very much, guys. I'm handing over to you now. Nick. Right, thank you. At this table here. How's that? Okay, for the final 
part of this morning, we've got a couple of videos that we're just going to show from a couple of people who couldn't be here today. And then we're going to do some uh, presentations and then end with prayer. And then follow that with cakes, which are, which are waiting over there. So without any further ado, as they say, I'll, I'll get Daniel to flash the videos up and I'll get out of the way. Hi guys. Hi. Quick video just to say thank you very much for who you are and for all your love and care and support for us over the years that we've known you. And thank you too for the way in which you've poured yourself out for Taunton Vineyard over these years. We really hope that today is a real celebration and encouragement for you. Lots of love. Take care. Bye. Bye. Wow, the end of an era, Simon and Rachel. We are so thankful for everything that God has done in you and through you during your time as senior pastor pastors at Taunton Vineyard. That's right and we'll never forget when you were our, our, our home group leaders all those years ago how you cared for us and supported us when Jude's father passed away. You were real sources of wisdom and and godliness and just joy to us at the, that time which we really, really needed so we are ever so grateful uh, for that. You are seasoned leaders you are godly leaders, you are visionary and pioneering leaders, and we are confident that God will use those skills in uh, the next chapter that he has uh, for you. So God bless you both, and God bless you, your uh, beautiful family. We would love to share this verse with you before um, we say bye. So it's from Psalm 37, verse 4. And we really um, feel that this is for you at this time. It says, take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. God bless you both. And for those of you who don't know who they were, um, the first ones were the bags from WEC. Uh, they've been helping us out and they're also one of the ministries that we've been supporting over the years. The second two, you may know John and Jude Crawford, who are the senior pastors down at uh, Tiverton Vineyard. Right, Simon and Rachel, would you like to come up? Sorry, sorry about all the activity and the exercise, but we're going to do this while we can. So, a few things from your friends and your family here at Taunton Vineyard. Well, there's a bunch of flowers for us, so we'll get those out of the way. That's the, uh, Romy put those together for you. Beautiful. Do you want to help that, actually? There, is, there are a few things in here. There is a little card that you can open uh, later on. That was one that was passed to me. Um, uh, there's a book here. Perhaps you'd like to hold that and, and maybe show it to the people too, if you like. There's a book, of, and it's full of photos of, of their life and times here at Taunton Vineyard. Also, thank you for, the, for those who sent in, in words and pictures. They're also in there as well, a little bit further back. So that's like a, a keepsake and a memento of your time here at Taunton Vineyard. Um, this is uh, the card for you as well, uh, kindly done by uh, Karen with, the, uh, with a verse on there that we think was a verse for you, for you guys in this time. And, and a check as well. Which, there we go. There's a check. It's actually changed. It, it's gone up, thankfully, not down. Um, <laughs> so, there, are, and I'm sure there may be more sort of donations and gifts, you know, coming in over, over the following, over the coming days. There's a bag there which you'd like to put it in if you'd like. Oh, and finally, what the kids have been doing this morning with their, it's a bit damp in places, so, so don't put it in with everything else. Okay, we'd love to pray for you guys. Um, now, in these days of, of COVID, it's, it's, it's hard to know what to do for the best, how to do it right, to avoid any sort of touching and coughing and, and sneezing. Are you happy, guys, for people to come and lay hands on you? Yeah. Right. Okay, so we get the rest of the discernment team up then. So, Oh, yes. 
<laughs> One more thing, which is going to come up on the screen soon, sorry, now, is a message from John and uh, uh, Debbie Wright. You may know they are the national leaders of the Vineyard uh, Churches. So um, I'll read it out just in case you can't see it from the back. Dear Simon and Rachel, we want to thank you both for your, for your leadership of Taunton Vineyard. You have served the church and the movement wonderfully over the last nine years, including through this challenging and unprecedented season. We wish you every blessing for the next step on your journey. And we pray for Taunton Vineyard through this transition that it would, con it, it would continue to be the church that God has called it to be. With our love, John and Debbie Wright. Okay, let's pray for you guys. So if a few of you would like to come and pray for Simon and Rachel, please come up. Um, I suppose we, all, we don't really want hundreds to come up, but please feel free if you'd like to. If you'd like to pray from where you are sitting, please just stand and put your hand up and we'll uh, bring a mic around so you can uh, pray from there. Okay. Father God, we thank you for Simon and Rachel. We thank you for their hearts over the, the last nine years. We thank you for the ups, the downs. We thank you for their support. We thank you for their care. We thank you for their, their teaching. We thank you for their leadership, Lord. And we pray now we pray now as they start a new part of the journey, Lord, that you will bless them. You'll bless them and their family. You will be with them. They will know the comfort and the strength and the joy of your presence, Lord, in whatever they do. And we pray these things in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Simon and Rachel, just want to honor you and bless you this day. And thank you from the bottom of our hearts for standing in the gap and taking it forward nine years of your life, which you've given and sacrificed to the Lord. But the Lord will restore those years to you, pressed down and running over. So we ask for that anointing oil to come upon you today from the crown of your head to the tips of your toes, covering your family too, who've also joined in this sacrifice. Bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Simon and Rach, we thank you for taking this church through the sea, like an exodus. We thank you that you did that job so perfectly. You were chosen for that moment. That you have got all of the joy and the, um, the pain wrapped up and thrown away. So it's, it can, it's gone. You've got to the other side. So we thank you that you're going to go now and be free to run the race which is set before you by God. In Jesus' name. Yeah, and Simon and Rachel, just so that you, in the, in the season ahead, that you just understand how much God loves you. Without doing anything at all, without having to prepare a sermon, write some notes, or anything at all, I just want, I know that he wants you to bask and sunbathe in his love, because he adores you too. And it's nothing that you can do to earn that. And he wants you to enjoy his love and grace in the season ahead, and to be completely chilled, just understanding that and getting back to that first love. Simon and Rachel, I just want to remind you of these words. You are deeply loved, completely forgiven, fully pleasing, totally accepted, 
powerfully equipped and complete in Christ. Yes, Father, we just thank you for them. And we pray that whatever you have in store for them next, it will be joyful, exciting. As, as our lives with you are, Lord, we thank you for all that you do. And we pray for more of you in the coming days. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you all. Um, I think that just about is the end of the service at the moment, apart from cakes. Now, um, I want to thank you, thank you for the catering team here who've made some amazing uh, cakes over there. There are, I understand, gluten-free ones and, and cake-free ones for those who don't like cakes. Um, <laughs> having said that, I don't know if we've actually organized how to do this. Um, uh, so maybe we should go up table by table just to grab a cake. Or, Carol, or are we going to bring them out? So change of plan, we're going to bring them out to you. Okay? So thank you very much for your time. Thanks, Simon and Andrea and the rest of the, the team today. Thank you for the tech team. Um, and remind the people online to say thank you. Thank you. Is it that one? <laughs> Thank you online if you're watching. Um, and uh, we'll see you soon. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks, guys.